Are you guys still struggling to shoot good on NBA 2K23, especially after that crazy season four update, which plummeted everybody's shooting percentages? You are definitely not alone. I'm finna share three jump shots with you guys if you're struggling after the season four update. Before I found my new jump shot, I was struggling like crazy. These jump shots are particularly useful for beginners to intermediate level type of players and especially useful for spot up shooters. We about to get right into it. Y'all be sure to drop a like and drop a sub if you can. Now, I personally have been using LaMelo Ball all year and have been going crazy. I was extremely happy with the LaMelo Ball jump shot but as you guys know if you're followers of the channel i can no longer use lamello ball and i'm really heartbroken about it so i have to hit the drawing board man take it back to the basics and find the jump shot that sits outside the meta i know a lot of you guys watching the video are like man i just don't like to use the same jump shot that everybody else uses now i don't share the same sentiment i'd prefer to use the jump shot that's quickest with a nice smooth range of motion whether it's meta or not is irrelevant to me a jump shot that has some great visual cues just so you guys know how i target jump shots when i'm recommending these new ones to you and we're just gonna jump right into it the first jump shot that i want to recommend to you guys is this jump shot we'll pull up on screen kevin durant luke Kennard, and oscar robinson 41 percent Kennard and 59% Oscar Robinson. That should get you the grades of a release speed A+, release height A+, defensive immunity an A, and a timing impact an A-. minus. I think this jump shot is really good because it has some great visual cues and the way the animation plays out allows you guys a smooth range of motion to understand that release cue. This jump shot is especially good for beginners out there. And y'all be sure to get the blending right because if you do not correct the blending on on this jump shot it will give you a lower speed grade and you'll notice an extremely slow wind up while you guys are out there trying to spot up for your shots and this second jump shot that i want to give you guys is my favorite out of the bunch tobias harris base rudy gay release one duncan robinson release two those two releases offer such a great release cue you know what i'm saying when you equip this jump shot 60 percent rudy gay 40 percent uh duncan robinson max speed in regards to spot up shooting this particular jump shot is very similar in speed at least the way the animation plays out to the mellow ball so it was very easy to get used to might be a little too fast for beginner level type of players but you guys are welcome to definitely try this one out you won't be disappointed and i don't think this is particularly a good jump shot for pgs that are draining their stamina to go into an animation you'll see a slowdown with that Tobias Harris base. And the third jump shot that I wanna give you guys is really good for low three ball shooters. I use this jump shot on my seven foot build with only a 79 three ball. O'Shea Brissett is the base, release one Giannis, release two Jokic, max speed 50% Giannis, 43% Jokic. It gives you the grades of an A release speed, an A minus release height, an A minus defensive immunity and a timing impact grade of a D. If you're new to shooting on 2K23, timing impact is probably the least relevant category to focus on with creating a custom jump shot. As long as you guys are really working toward gauging the timing on your shot. Choosing a jump shot with a higher timing impact grade allows you a bit more grace for you to mistime your shot. And if you guys are still struggling to find a jump shot or still struggling to shoot well on 2K23 and these jump shots don't work out for you, I recommend checking out NBA 2K Lab Premium as they have this new jump shot tool where you can plug your controller right into your PC phone or tablet Choose a base, release one, release two, your height, everything you need to know for your particular build. Choose that and it'll give you a graph displaying exactly your green window and the milliseconds that you should be hitting on your green window. You find the peak of that green window for this particular jump shot. I'll shoot 95% if I hit the peak at 504 milliseconds. There's information that's extremely useful for you guys. You could take your controller and as you guys see here, there's a slash. So when I take my wire and plug my controller right in, I'll be able to use my controller to attempt and practice on hitting that 504 millisecond 95% 
for that particular jump shot. I'll hit square and you guys can see you get some real time feedback. This is why I highly recommend NBA 2K Lab Premium. If you do decide to use NBA 2K Lab Premium, use promo code ALLCITY. You can take as many shots as you like to try and hit that green window and it'll give you consistent feedback, letting you know if you're shooting early, slightly early, green, slightly late or late. And these numbers here are the feedback timing on your shot. So if I shot 564 and I'm doing my best to try to hit 504, you'll just keep working until you get higher and you see your green percentage start increasing, meaning that you are actually learning the timing on that particular jump shot. Do not forget to use promo code ALLCITY as it helps us out here on the channel. And it also saves you guys 20% on NBA2KLab.com premium service. My hope is that this video helped you guys out in one way or another. If you guys are looking for players to run with on 2K23, consider joining our Discord, pulling up on 25,000 players, 25,000 members for you to run with. And I have started a second gaming channel called All City 2. If you guys could take a second and go subscribe to that channel, it'll be really helpful to help get that channel off the ground where I'll be playing a ton of different games. You guys know that this channel is dedicated primarily to NBA 2K on All City 2. I will be live streaming and creating content on tips and tricks for your favorite video games. The link for All City 2 will be in the description below. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. Y'all be sure to keep it locked right here at All City Live TV because we got a bunch more NBA 2K23 news, information, and updates coming your way. Drop a like, drop a sub on your way out. I'll catch you guys on the next video or live stream. Easy, y'all.